Yeah, yeah, sure. Go for yes, it. Please Perfect. do. Yeah. And it's defeating the first two home worlds, right? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Cool. Okay. Everyone's recording, everyone's ready? Yes. We are indeed. Yes, yes. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one, square to charge. Hey. Square Hello, to charge. YouTube watchers. It's your boy, Bobodink here. Today I hey. am joined by Lucas and MTB. And this hey. is a group kill Kenny race in 40 winks to defeat the first two home worlds. And also, this is the 1999 speedrunning championship. Shoehorned that one in on the end, but there we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and we must also get uh, the winks as well, so you can't leave a level without getting them. And we have quite, uh, quite a few to get. I think like at least 13. Yeah. I just go. collect what I can collect. Hopefully, depending on how this is edited, you'll see that uh, displayed at the start of the race as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. So, uh, forty oh, winks. Then, do you want to tell us a bit about the game? Because it's a bit of an it's a bit obscure of a title. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, um, a it's a a game developed by Duracom Software, most famously known for. Their work on Crash Bash. Um, yes, was, Crash game. It was their first, uh, as far as I'm aware, intellectual property that wasn't uh, licensed by somebody else. Like normally, they they would do, uh, you know, uh, licensed games like uh, Hercules, Tarzan, yeah, that kind of thing. I think one of the final projects was like a Goldeneye game on Wii or something like that. Um, so. Have I missed a collectible was, down there? This was like the big project, and it was going to be released on both PS1 and the N64. The N64 version was going to be the definitive version because yeah. uh, the idea behind it was it was going to have multiplayer and all that. And actually, a ROM exists of the game that actually mm. shows that that was fully completed and everything. Oh, damn. Uh, it's even interesting had a, that you mentioned that, magazine. yeah. Hey, even on the Tell so Magazine publication as well, but you know. So I, I, I didn't want to cut you off there. It's just, no, it's interesting think. that you mm. mentioned that because I remember um, in what my Croc 2 race with Joseph, Marcus was talking about the PC version versus the PS1 version. Yes, and with, with that game, I felt like it had a very PC game of the late 90s yeah, you vibe mentioned. to it. Yes. Yeah. And this game, you know, I totally get a Nintendo 64 yeah. type vibe to it. So that is interesting. Was 64. That yeah, is, yeah so, actually. It is very um, Nintendo 64, actually. And the thing is, like, um, what's oh, weird about this is, um, like, you probably died, aren't you? No, I just kept falling into the acid and just lost about 30. What's it's... weird about what's weird about this game, though, is that, um. Uh, it works really well as a PS1 game because uh, a lot of the games uh, that aged really well on PS1 tended to be the cartoon type of games. Uh, and, you know, um, the one thing this version didn't have was multiplayer. Yeah. Uh, you could actually play the whole game as both rough and tumble with a friend. Casey and I did do it one time um, a few years ago. Uh, it was a bit difficult to do because the resolution wasn't the best as you can imagine. But it, yeah. I mean, I think I think probably like if you em if it was emulated and not like the way we played it, where it was on hardware, like I think you probably could actually do it without thinking. Uh, but it was like quite difficult to see uh -huh. uh, on the um, the version. I guess that came this out. is a yeah. In twenty nineteen, they re released it. Uh, for N64 on Steam. Yeah, uh, but it, yeah, true, actually. And uh, I have like three copies of the N64 game that I need to sell. I th <laughs> yeah. I think, um, I think, uh, I, I. That's a whole would, other story as well, isn't it? <laughs> it oh, yeah. It would, it would be, it would be fair to say that, um, 
although like I get why there's problems with the game. Some people like don't like the controls. No, I, it's quite clear I love the game. Um, <laughs> you know, it's got a good art style to it. I, you know, like the characters themselves, like you know, they're not exactly Crash Bandicoot or Spiral or anything like that. But they're, you know, like I like Yay. the whole idea of like you're a, you're a kid and um, you know dreams and that's basically what this game's about. Like, uh, the the kids are like um, tr dreaming out their fantasies, like yeah. being ninjas and all that. That's partly why there's. <laughs> uh, For the, lack um, of a better way to put this, it yeah. feels very much like. Um, a British, like, quintessential type video game of, you know, if, like, if video games were British, you know, what they'd be about, and, you know, it has that very, like, Harry Potter-esque style charm to it, it of, you know, like, yeah. you're, yeah, you're a young right. kid, you know, you're wandering through dreams, you meet all these supernatural elements, I suppose, yeah. you know, yeah. like... Exactly, I think you're spot on there, and and the thing as well is like uh, the voice talent in the game is interesting because it's it's only two voice actors in the game, uh, a well known <laughs> voice actress called Lani Manella. She's voiced um she voiced Bobsy in Bobsy 3D and also uh, Bruce the Bat oh, wow. Sonic Adventure too, um, okay. and she voices like all the girl characters in the game. <laughs> but there was also like Mark Silk, uh, who voiced uh, Johnny Bravo. If anybody knows that cartoon oh yeah johnny bravo yeah. um and Classic. he like voiced uh night cat and he also voiced the bear in this game as well uh so there aren't that many like speaking characters in this game then uh you don't hear them speak too often uh there's a, there's a few cut scenes um the kids themselves don't get much screen time even though you play them throughout the whole game depending on which one you pick but uh, oh, like... I suppose it's not dissimilar to how when you play as Spyro, you don't really hear him speak in the game, just in cutscenes. Like, yeah, it's exactly like that. To be honest, uh, and then you get to enter the dragonfly, and it it messes up that rule. <laughs> yeah. I also notice as well that like I'm doing a few skips uh, that you know in the game, like uh, for example, like um, there was I don't know like. How this but this is kind of like spoiler 2 as well funnily enough tying it into that you can if you press the x button two times really quickly um you can do a little high jump and oh, it right. actually breaks so much of the game uh which i'll try my best to show off because as it's a mm. tournament i feel like it's worth showing oh yeah uh, so. shit like that off um you know especially because like this game doesn't sometimes uh on the outside doesn't look like it's got any tricks up its sleeve but yet it actually does under the hood mm. uh that that um, much there that you can race her for life and stuff like that was really pointless that was not meant to um, happen mm, might be good for a goal later down the line but uh oh, for sure well, that's not part of this goal i'm just the in the double library jump section goal. the double jump goal spiral maybe, maybe a whole tournament based off <laughs> double jumping would be <laughs> interesting <laughs> yeah. Specifically, double jump glitches. Uh, this level also reminded me of um, Hansel and Gretel. Ah, I did it the again, double... didn't I? Maybe when we get to um, oh, 2024 is next year, maybe the double jump glitch Olympics. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds good, actually. <laughs> uh, now, this game started off with like mini bosses, but then all of a sudden, like, just randomly decided no longer to have them. <laughs> Uh, and later, mm. well, I guess they got bored of it, or they just didn't lost interest altogether. Yeah, that but, sounds uh, about right. The, the mini, the mini uh, bosses, like, were actually the only thing that was, that was really different because the main boss is always uh -huh. the same guy. Uh, it's Fred Bear, a lit like a literal bear, like the one that um, Tumble mm. uses. Uh, Thanks. Uh, these power ups, like you, basically charge them up with um, the tokens nearby. Fun fact: this was the first Crystal Fisher LP I ever seen. Oh wow! Was that one? This nice. game. Yep. Which um, he uh, Hello to Andrew, if you're a lot. Watching, by the way, <laughs> he save stated a lot and, and raged a lot. Uh, and when we get up to the bit, I will 
reference. Uh, what, what year the was most it from? nostalgic area. 2011. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, and he did like a retrospective of it in 2014. Or literally three years like after the original LP. Was he um, any better at the game in three years? Oh, oh. he was... Not really, but he was mellower. Yeah. Oh, well, I've tried he, to he, 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 he didn't get as angry at the game like he, he, he would have in the LP. All, all I need to do is go to, like, mm. some of his very earliest LPs to just see, like, that Damn old, it. you know, Australian rage coming out and stuff like that. You just... No! I don't like <laughs> the fact that was what it was like. The whole time. Literally. The, um... I think the only times it comes out now is for like comedic effect. Yeah, but it used to come out like actual, yeah, proper rage, Batman. I think he was once in a race where yeah. he he was in a tag team with a, a good friend no. of ours. Out oh, again, I lost another life. Oh yeah, oh, no. one life left. One life left. Marcus, I recommend save state. Not okay. gonna lie. I'll do it because then. this game like is pretty punishing when you die, you game over. Just to um, clarify, guys, we're allowing it because both parties have agreed. There we yeah. go. So I can just wait, save state any time then. Uh, as long as it's like um by a checkpoint. Like, yeah, that's good. I think that's a good idea. Just doing it by the checkpoint. Uh, there's quite a lot of checkpoints in the game, so it makes sense. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so but yeah, no. In that tag team race, he got very no, nope. uh, not very angry. Reload it here. <laughs> Classic Fisher. So just to clarify as well, part of the reason why I uh, was okay to like allow safe states in this particular race, yeah, it was because um, this game, like, uh, not only does it have the game over thing that a lot of old PS One games did that was a carry over from the NES era hmm. but also like um it has uh that problem of like one life means Ow. one life when you when you become used to like zero Let's lives say. meaning one life it becomes it becomes a bit inconvenient and your mind yeah. doesn't play uh well at least for me like uh I don't play as well unless I know that it's my final final life and I tend to forget one life means one life if that makes sense because yeah. normally for me it like goes to zero lives after that you know i think i've glitched my game and made one of the cogs uncollectible what do you mean i, I died as i collected it so i've only got 29 out of 30 and i can't see where i've missed you want me one. to pause the now so i can see what's going on uh yeah sure uh right let me see it just takes me back here after I've completed that section. And I'm on 29. Unless I've missed one somewhere. What was the one... What was the state. one you missed? It was, uh... Let's have a look. This one here. There. I died as I collected oh, it. And I don't think it counted it. Oh. Uh, you know there's a power-up nearby... No, no, yes. no, no, not there. Like that. No, no. There's a power up uh, that comes after this bit. Yeah, I've uh, seen that. I've collected that. Yeah. No, you haven't. In the past, I have. I've had it like three oh, times. Oh, you have. Well, you, you absolutely. I'll save state here. Yeah, I'll save state here. Absolutely here. need to get it because, uh, like, you'll just make life a lot harder for yourself without it, and you need to get that switch. That switch there. Because otherwise, the the platforms will just collapse every time you go over them. Uh, I got you. And Not you're like also that. going the wrong way. Yeah, but where am I missing that one thing though? Uh, to the right. To the right. Around here. Yeah, to to, to the right. Oh, you know how like there's a little ledge nearby the uh, wooden plank. No, 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 no. It's. Uh... Oh, there. there. I got it, yeah. Thank you. That's well right. hidden. We've, we've allowed them um, coaching there because um, I'm pretty ahead at the moment. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's all right, then. And, um, yeah, the I'm paused now. I'm paused now. Yeah, go on, then. Let's continue. Yep. 
Uh, so I'm guessing so this I'm is just... a world then. Each light levels a world, technically. Uh, yeah, like it's it's essentially meant to be as big as the world. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what I mean by like the gingerbread man fuel this level. I got world you. as well. I'm almost at the uh, oh, end God, of the get up here. Oh. Which way woods? The music is well so, composed, composed by. It's Steve almost Cutler. like the setting and backdrop is like the dreams of these kids. Then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the the whole thing is like um, the bad guy of the game wants to uh, yeah. <laughs> cause nightmares for the kids because um, he can't get a good night's sleep. <laughs> and the only That's thing, even the, the even the game itself makes fun of itself for it as well, because like um, uh, they, when you get to the end of the game, like uh, the bears, like um, all all like um, Mister Nightcat wants is a is a good sleep, and is like, really? That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's that's it's the no. They even call him Mister Nightcap. <laughs> right, <laughs> like it's Alex. so like um, CBB sort of. Uh, <laughs> you know that that kind of thing, and that's the mini boss. Yeah, if CBB's ever produced a video game like that, that kind of energy in the night garden or, or, or um, CITV rip. Uh, yeah, <laughs> rip CBB TV in general. Although apparently, yeah, rip TV in general, like you know, safe state, right, uh... dire. Play I kind of miss the days um, of Virgin Media, Sky, Broadband, and On Demand being a thing, you know? So that I actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I miss the days no, of um, This Samuel. level is very in the night garden, actually. Technically. And dark color. This is the um, last level in uh, the nightmare world. Uh, Which is the first here. world? Yeah. Yes, Creepy, crawly cemetery. Okay. So, from what I can tell, you're edging ahead slightly, Lucas. Yeah. Yeah. I take it Marcus is, like, still in the first... In the house. First level. Haunted house. Yeah. That's kind of a difficult level, that, when you first play it, though. Yeah, true. Got that lock, though. That's why I, like, recommended this uh, safe state thing. I don't know if I've done something wrong here, or... All right, so I'm I, I got the ten cogs for the door, but I'm gonna like uh, just um, show like okay. the speed run runners way of doing this when you when you do any percent anyway. Uh, so yeah, you go for it. Double jump on the uh, on that lamp there. Oh, so you can like sort of clip yep. onto it. Oh, that's and, so cool. And then when you get out of the area, you can do this to get back in it. Hmm. A slide. Ah, oh. it's That's one of the um, it's one of the coolest um speedrun tricks that's in this game. <laughs> Down here. Nope. Well, mate, not a you. good theme of this tournament actually, and we've seen it in mm. the Pepsi Man race, obviously in my race with Joseph, and now this race is like seeing people who are taking on games that you know maybe they didn't know about before or they're unfamiliar with and like giving them a go and like learning yeah. them and that's really cool that is actually a good point yeah like because i've never played croc 2 you see so yeah, i got my second wink completely nice. new to me and it was uh, totally new to me as well like yeah and actually, it was the it was the same point you made in that race, Marcus. Like how nice it was to see, like from the point of view of someone like yourself who's played yeah, it a lot it. and knows the games, like seeing someone totally new to it, trying to figure it out and get the measure of it. Well, it's like when you played uh, Time Busters, you and Mayo for GRA. Like um, it was good to see some uh, like you know flaws in the game that I maybe wouldn't have noticed had I yeah. uh, not seen a newbie play it because mm -hmm. as a veteran like I'm not used to like thinking that the game's flawed I'm so used to it like uh, unconsciously I just Sorry. do things like you know warping the characters mm -hmm. switching to a character when it's needed you know that yeah. kind of thing and then when like you know you really appreciate like 
you know, the fact that, like, his games, like, you know, they're not perfect. Oh, but no. sometimes, like, because we've, like, uh, grown up with them and become so used to them, like, it's almost like they're perfect to us in a weird way. It's, yeah. Well, for a lot of us, they, you know, make up our formative years in life, you know. They kind of become staples and hallmarks of, you know, yeah, exactly. our childhood, some of our earliest memories. Like, for me, these memories aren't just, you know, playing video games and having fun playing video games, but for me, it's like sharing those memories with my brothers, for example, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's stuff that, you know, I, I look back on really fondly, and I'm like, you know, because of this game's existence, you know, like, my own relationship with my family is probably slightly better than it would have been otherwise, you know? Because it was something yeah. that, like, centered us and gave yeah. us something to bond over. And now in my adult life, because of these games, you know, like, the same it's got me friends yeah. and you guys, you know? The same thing's happened in the friendship circle, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. quite awesome mm. that happened. No, absolutely. Um, yeah. Like, and to uh, me, that will always be more important than speedrunning. Yeah, same. Or, or, or rather being the best at speedrunning, you know? Like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, fun fact as well, like, um, how I discovered this game as a kid, like, I it literally just came in bundled with my PS1. Mm. Um, oh, interesting. I just happened to be one of those kids that just, at the time, like, uh, it was a game you could buy the PS1 and it just looked interesting and yeah um, wait, 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 wait. how'd you get out of here yeah, it's like like roger said it's super obscure but like you know it's got its um small community yes on it. and because it's eurocom like it does have like um i would say like high game standard at least because it's a well-known developer <laughs> who Absolutely. made some really interesting games in all fairness uh they even made um heroes tale like a few years later which is often considered the best bar game post uh insomniac games hmm. all right and while i personally don't agree with that's... that i think that's just testament to the uh company mm. itself that people think that you know yeah yeah no, I was going to say state. that's possibly true, depending on if you mm -hmm. count, like, the Legends and Skylanders as, like, Spyro, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, I thought this room mm. was, like, um, outside, but then I found out it's got a roof. Mm. The colour scheme just makes it look kind of like it's outside. Mm. Um, you know, it's little things like that where I think you start to see the limitations in PS1 graphics. It's like yes. how in Spyro, it took me ages to learn that the ladders were ladders. Like, I thought they were just funkily designed walls they, or something. Yeah, they look like they're drawn on, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, when Hunter's like, when you see a ladder, or walls that are climbable, you see it's a like, ladder. well, they don't look climbable. It looks like you... you Drew, um, you know that scene from Spongebob where Patrick draws a watch on his wrist? Oh, yeah. It looks like Patrick just went along and drew like lines on the wall and it's like, there we go, there's a ladder. Unless we're talking about the Doodle Bob episode, in which case that kind of makes canonical sense. Might do a video essay on it, not going to lie. Oh yeah, I think you actually need to... Uh... Some some of the things in this game aren't, aren't that intuitive. Like, I think you actually need to kill the, the ghost in this area. Oh. I think right. I'm finding the winks, guys. I couldn't help you there because I don't know what a wink looks like. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh... This no, is this... when, like, Casey sends a winky face emoji or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will be. No, this is like uh, a weird uh, little elevator platform because uh, I, I don't really know what activates it. Uh, yeah, I've been this way. It's. It, 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 I think like there, there's a programming error with this. <laughs> um, 
Oh, wait, let me go back up light and st butt stomp on it. <clears throat> I'll actually kill this ghost first. Maybe, maybe that'll do it. <laughs> I'm falling asleep. I'm actually enjoying this game, actually. You're falling asleep? Yeah. Literally. That is like some that major is... irony right there. That I find is. that so fun. That's some major That's what, I mean. what the fuck did I do differently to open that platform? What? That is some... I think you collected all the stuff in the room, right? Well, I've... Well, that's Maybe it's only... like, you know, that some Indiana the... Jones yeah. shit where you take the statue off the oh. stone and a boulder chases you. You know, it's weird though, like, sometimes that room works without doing that and sometimes it does. <laughs> uh, maybe the game just doesn't like you. <laughs> Not in that particular area, anyway, no. know. Mm. Oh, all, all that effort for that. And the thing is, like, I think you're right, I think it did work after I got everything in the room. Yeah. Mm. Well, that that's just from my observation. Obviously, I'm only just watching you play. Oh, no, yeah. this is how you um, unlock the boss. Oh, so you just oh yeah. Just the, um, ah, just... see little time pieces. <laughs> little, uh, how do you know which number's which? What do you mean? Oh, why have I entered that again? Okay. Well, because, like, you know, presumably it's meant to be a clock, right? Hmm. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> it's just... Uh... You don't, do you? Like, it's a completely broken, isn't it? Or at least they sort of colour-coded it, so maybe you could figure out which area it's in. Yeah. Exactly. I like that they colour-coded it for every level. Like, it's basically, yeah. like, pink, green, blue. Yeah. And this is where the boss move is. I think this is literally just called Nightmare Boss. <laughs> All you do is just run around and wait for it to get tired like Marcus. Yeah, you see, I don't know if I need to be here yet. Oh, oh okay. I don't think so. I'm is this to be the first boss? Yeah. The first proper boss in the game. I think technically the first mini boss is that um, witch you see. Which um, you probably didn't even notice because it died that quickly on the easy mode. This so looks like the Spider Town boss hmm. from Spyro Year of the Dragon. Oh, it does actually, yeah. I can see what you mean. In terms of like the method of defeating it as well. like You see gotta... this like, character here on top of it? Like He's like the main boss for every single Extra life, uh, yes. world. I think I've got to go down here. Like, in he this looks one, like, like something yeah. out of stuff. Is that Sheila? <laughs> Sheila the kangaroo in a monkey I actually, suit. I actually never noticed how creepy that spider looked, by the way, mm. when I, uh, without zooming into it. Quite effective, actually. Oh, what is this? Mm. Oh, this is a cool place. You know, that is definitely something the PS1 graphics, you know, had that I think modern games just can't replicate is the creepiness factor. Yeah. There was so and I think modern there. games need to take a page out of their book for that. Like, this game did that well for me as well. There was another one released the same year. Oh, I guess I don't have just to collect all these. I can do a Hearts of Darkness race with somebody, so they can yeah. help hate themselves too. Um, because that was released <laughs> in 1999 as well. I think, uh, you know, that game like had 3D cutscenes in it where like you see a kid literally fallen from a cliff, I know, and oh my god, it. like. As a kid, like that shit really fucked me up. <laughs> like, I, I didn't understand like the two D to three D. Mm. Like, I didn't understand that that happened. You know, mm. like it was the uncanny valley. It was <laughs> really bizarre. Yeah. Like, cause it's like obviously like, it's a fully two D game, and this shit as well. Like, it's pretty traumatizing. <laughs> you have beaten Threadbare. You've beaten Threadbare for now. Now let's get your stitches together. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. CGI animation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the quite a treat for a 1999 video game. Um, 
you know what's funny as well, like, uh, um, it's, uh, on N64, like, they actually did it in-game cutscenes. <laughs> and the animation was really good for them, even in that as well. <laughs> now it's time to go to the, uh, water world. It's here. Also, it's... my cat's in the room, so apologies if you hear a lot of purring. Ah, that's fair. That's fine. So we're going to go into Marcus's favourite place, the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, his, uh, it's his holy trinity of interests. That's toilet, just why vacuum cleaners, and Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> the first level is Splish Splash City. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, Splish Splash the toilet. toilet. Just to clarify. Splishy Splash um, the Toilet. Has to be glow in the dark, right, Marcus? Yes, it does. Glow in the dark toilets yeah. only. Oh, only. I, I, no, I, I tagged. No, I kid you not. I tagged him in a post of this really cool looking toilet, had skull and crossbones on, and you know everything you'd ever ask for. <laughs> Sent it to Marcus, thinking, "Oh, Marcus is a tea tea bowl man. He'd love this." <laughs> um, and then he's just like, "But does it glow in the dark though?" And I'm like, "No." And he's like, not interested. <laughs> Send it what? back. Send it to the scrapyard. <laughs> Send it to the scrapyard? <laughs> toilet. Also, in Reading, they have these toilets in the shopping center where there's, like, a lid for the toilet lid so that oh. when you flush it, it traps the germs inside. Yes. That's smart. Yeah. See, well, the only reason I know one. this is because I thought of Marcus when I learnt it. So, thanks to Marcus, <laughs> I've now held on to this knowledge. <laughs> That's a really hard skip. I did yeah, the because of the like... germ precautions, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Although, to be fair, I think you'd appreciate that in Doncaster as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. All for that. If anything, more places should really do that. Like, you know, prevent Am I missing germs something? being spread. Oh. Uh, Especially since coronavirus was yeah. such a big deal a few years ago. Marcus oh, yeah. must have felt so validated when coronavirus came along. Now everybody's going to um, sanitize their hands. <laughs> I can't. I, my, my, my dream come true. <laughs> this, like, ends up, like, uh, the moment, like, the um, pandemic, like, um, goes to, like, back to, like, reasonable levels of normality. Um, everybody's, every male in the toilet's just not washing their fucking hands again. I know, it's gross, I, right? I just did it for myself. Yes, it is. Yeah. Do you know what's but... funny is, um, I remember when the pandemic came about, there was a scene in the Big Bang Theory where I think one of the characters was sick, <laughs> and Sheldon made everyone go into Penny's apartment, and put like some alcohol hand gel on their hands and was like you know no you're not coming in unless you get this thing and it was played for laughs and all the characters are like really this is a bit extreme except it didn't really land when it was the pandemic because everyone was doing that and oh. was like that scared of germs at that point so i know like i remember like when i was in uh like college at the time uh you know for my hnc before it, like got uh demoted it, you know changed to online mm. and um you know it was like the signs started coming up all over the college like about <laughs> you know like um coronavirus is serious and all that and uh you know as a threat and i was like oh my fucking god they might actually lock down like I, that was my first thought when i seen that i was like you know because at the time like i think like i was like most people like thinking oh it's a joke you know oh mm. i'm not gonna do that literally yeah i remember and then it's suddenly out of nowhere just everyone took it seriously and the thing was like i think what really cemented it for me was that interview that bojo mm. did mm. where he was like um oh it's draconian laws and then like immediately like uh two weeks later like he implemented those laws under pressure. I still remember at the start of 2020, everyone was like so scared that they were going to like 
do what they did in i think italy and places and it was like you know you literally won't be able to leave your house at all you know the yeah. government or the army the military will deliver you like your rations of food that week and whatever and they'll fly drones out over the streets catching people socializing to be fair that drones thing they did do yeah but that's why it makes um him being caught out by party gate so much more satisfying yeah uh, it's like this was your um well fun fun fact as well like um like he uh uh, because of the Dominic Cummings thing, like he he actually described, uh, you know, the the committee as the Führer, who decided that um, Dominic Cummings broke the law, which I find just I'm not surprised he thought he thinks that. Yeah. <laughs> so bizarre. It's like anybody that disagrees with you. Oh, you must be a Nazi. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, I just love this. It's such, a, such a good topic for a race, isn't it? Yeah, especially one about um, a kid that's got that probably no, only knows how to be a ninja or a jester. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Does this kid uh, grow up to become Theresa May or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. Like I remember, like um, right. uh, shout out to Al here because I'm going to reference him. I remember in the Fisher LP, like Al was like. Um, they're like, why would I want to play as a, a fat kid with a with a bad haircut? <laughs> <laughs> the reality of the of the matter is like, you know, I think it was like designed to be relatable. Yeah. Um you know, like and not just like you know, so somebody so it's more like almost like projection, but like they couldn't obviously like make it just a blank slate, so they picked the most cartoonish looking Pair of kids and it man. really does feel like um like a young girl in england from like the 1970s with a fruit bowl haircut though it really does yeah it really does so, she always <laughs> reminded done. me of she always reminded me of mowgli from the jungle book yeah a little bit my um one of my brothers as well had that exact haircut um when he oh, was like uh, <laughs> yeah a little kid even, even when i had hair i could never have hair like that yeah see i'm so glad the um like long hair fashion trend has like died down you know like in the 2000s everyone had to have the justin bieber swoosh or whatever oh like, yeah even when it was popular i never thought it looked that good so i'm just happy that that's ma mainly a thing of the past now <laughs> i wonder if beaver himself now even thinks it looked good mm. well he's probably busy worrying about the thing that he's got recently the lazy eye thing oh yeah. Cool? yeah yeah that's that's correct um yeah yeah the lazy eye Is problem we're yeah. setting up nine minutes into this race, I didn't even realise that. Wow, we've been going for some I've time. Time flies when you're having fun and talking yeah. about COVID-19. <laughs> and Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. The thing that happened no, I mean... full 20 years after uh, uh, the, the games in this tournament, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's COVID-19. Yes. There's a 19 in 1999, so you know, it makes sense. Yes, it's uh, oh my god, a lot of 19s, no, no. yeah. <laughs> Covid 19 tournament, anyone games that came out in 2020? <laughs> well, sadly, one of them is not Anne Simulator, so that's oh, yeah. from me. Weren't that like the first time that game was actually played? Uh... Uh, it was it, the Ryan, first lockdown, Ryan yeah. must have a whole horde of, you know, brilliant games from 1999 that we could implement. Yeah. I mean, um, like, games like Hand Simulator are the perfect way to kill time when you're in an LP part of somebody you don't want to be in. Well, I am missing something here. I can't find where it is. Uh... All right, well, I tried my best, Lucas, but clearly, you know, 
Oh, well, I won't <laughs> be playing the game. Clearly, you were hoping it would be Fracture Hills and not Aquaria Towers. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I can't believe that's almost been a year ago now, that part. I think it's been a year, isn't it? No, not quite. That was like October time. It's oh, been a yeah. while, definitely. I need to get back to okay, it. I'm but missing four cogs. Just life and all that in it. I guess Lucas is long into the second world now. Uh, yeah, yeah. he just collected, I think, four time pieces. Ah, uh, I got you. Yeah, yeah I'm, not... I, I'm just not finding one collectible here. I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, maybe, like, move forward and come back. You can't. You've got to complete every bit to move on. Oh. I know. Yeah, it's Eurocom, one of those. Eurocom, I just can't with you right now. I know. It's one. Of, it's literally one of those oh. games, yeah. This way, maybe? The, the amazing thing is how, how much we managed yeah. to like, hide the, the, the cogs in such small areas. Yeah. To be fair, like, I'd imagine it kept kids you know engaged for hours at a time because the they just spend hours yeah. trying to get past one section the funniest review of the game that i seen was like somebody uh that was a user on GameSpot. Ha. uh but way back in 2000 described the game as nope. easy as pie and i was like did we play the same fucking game <laughs> <laughs> you probably played the first world then put it down after that assuming you won this yeah. game is <laughs> fucking brutal. <laughs> what I'm missing? Even on the easy mode. Marcus is struggling. Marcus is struggling right now. We're both I'm struggling, dying to, find, in it I'm struggling and... to find four gears. And Marcus is someone who's good at games as well. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, he just takes to them like a uh, duck on water, you know? I do, but I'm not good at collecting and finding hidden items. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I saying hated. like, you know. Oh, but I mean, like, I'm, I'm saying, talking, like, normally yeah. you're good, but this game is, you know, tripping you up. So, yeah, you're a Kelly's heel. To, mark, to that you. guy's point of it's an easy game, it's like, no, it's not, because yeah. here's someone who's good at games who's struggling. But, yeah, no, it has the same it. energy of when I was in secondary school, right? You know, we'd hold like auditions for a school band and whatever else, and it's like, can you play guitar? And a year seven kid would be like, of course I can play guitar. They pick up the electric guitar and they just strum all the strings once and put it down. It's like, there we go, I played it. Boom. It's like, you know, it has that same energy. It's like, you know, are you yeah, good at games? Cool. Oh, of course I can. I'll just hit the X a few times. See, I'm jumping. There we go. Could a hint be given? Did. Because I've been stuck in this section for 10 minutes. Uh, now. Um, I'll quickly pause and see what I'll you're pause. doing. Right. Oh, no. no. Right. Yeah, I'm missing four gears. I'm up to this oh, point. oh, Marcus! You need to get the cave power up, caveman power up, and break that ground. That's what you need to do. I'll break the ground there. I think. Yeah. Do you see? How, like there was like um, a ground that kind of looked like it was upright. Yeah, I did. It's it, that's why you need to go through that gate in the first place. Well, that, I, that was easier than I expected. Uh, I don't know where the power no. up has gone though, because I think I've used it. Um, you have to go back through the blue Got ya. portal. Yeah, so an, an extra loading screen, I'm afraid. Yeah, fine. One thing the N64 version had over the PS1 was like it didn't load as much uh, no. because it was not using the CD. Oh no. Uh, it, it, like the the card, the nature of cartridges, like is such that like uh, it all loads up pretty quickly most of the time. Yeah. It's like PC games. Uh... Why did they ever move away from cartridges? Good question, something actually. To gaming. Something to do with, like... Uh, Cost, you know, capacity. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're even moving away from discs at this point as well. Yeah. Don't even though them. they're cheap as chips to produce these days. They're just switches yeah, they using are. cartridges. Well, they, I mean, Nintendo only ever had, like, you know, three <laughs> gaming systems with discs. Something like that. The, yeah. Yeah, the GameCube, Wii, Wii U. And the I last disc so. system was an absolute, you know, failure. I, I remember oh. when I learnt that the Wii was made by Nintendo. Yeah. And I was like, that can't be right, because they use discs. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I also didn't see like the Nintendo logo anywhere near the Wii branding. So it always felt like Nintendo were trying to yeah. have people not think it was a Nintendo console. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Like, like they were ashamed of it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, um, <laughs> like that Tory MP that like apparently posted like um, his uh, voting paper for the um, you know local elections oh, the... coming up, and he apparently um... like um, put. You've probably seen heard this, haven't you? Put conservative right at the back. Yeah. Yeah. And like it was well, almost like he at was least ashamed put of the conservative band. on it. Some of them don't even mention that they're the conservative candidate. No. Yeah, that's right. Like I know. Some of them have like painted their leaflets green. It, it, I think some of them have even tried to paint them red so that they think it's leaf. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's, honestly, man, it's become it's become a farce at this point. It really has. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, Dominic grabs more of a villain. Than the actual villain in this game, who's only mad because his uh, clock keeps waking them up. <laughs> yeah. All, all, he, all he needed, all he need, needed was the help of uh, two kids to like. Um, I'm not gonna lie. For half that sentence, I thought you were talking about uh, Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he 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 um just needs somebody to teach him how to use a, a comb and also how to become a good person. Um, both of which are <laughs> and to and to make a statement without lying yeah <laughs> which i just don't think is possible honestly for like i was t- thinking about this the other day like how insulting is it to the uh mm. you know to the to the working class person he tried to like act like he was oh, down to earth acting like a moron like this only occurred to me a few days ago like it actually is kind of insulting now that i think about yeah, it a little bit because that was his whole image and he wasn't like, like the, that at oh, all. Oh, look at me! I'm um, I'm a poor little working yeah. class fool. <laughs> I, 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 make, I see. I'm uh, one of you. <laughs> I make steak and chips, and it's so good, you know. Yeah. Right. Well, well. Oh, I'm eating steak and chips, and it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marcus, man, like you must have like hated life when um Jeremy Corbyn lost that election. I did, honestly. It was the worst thing oh. that has happened, like, in this country in the twenty the past twenty years. <laughs> you, pro- you know what? Like, you're probably right to an extent. Yeah. Okay, like he's not my favourite person in the world, but yeah, he was definitely better than the, than yeah. Yeah, what we got. Yeah, exactly. Just imagine how much better the world would have been right now. I think, I think, like, the problem was like he could never like give a like certain answer about where he wanted to be with the Europe situation and I think either answer he gave would have just lost in points anyway to be honest. Whatever the winnable situation that. Yeah, absolutely. Tories invented uh, Brexit therefore they should be the ones to be able to deliver it. That was kind of I think what was that was the disguise if you like. Just like the disguise that Tumble is wearing. Yeah. See, I can connect it to this game. <laughs> uh, I've got far too. No, I'm um, go actually I'm on the last can because I'm not uh, clued up on this game, should we say? Um, yeah, like <gasps> as I say, like you know, the first time I beat this game, it was a, it was an event, you know, a really shit boss fight, you know, <laughs> took about fifteen hits, so it got mm. really tedious. But to me, it was like, like euphoria because I was like, I knew at the time it was a hard game. I knew I'd already beaten a few games like <laughs> in the year or two before that. I think it took me about two years to beat this game or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I remember going to school one day and being like, "Hey, look, everybody!" Uh, you know, because like you used to be able to play PS One games in that particular school. The first one I went to. Of course, you did. Um. It was like, you know, some playtime thing that they did, and um, no, I, I remember. Yeah, we had something similar. I used to go to this uh, thing no. called a play scheme. 
during like the holidays. And I remember one had like I think a Sega Mega Drive or something with like oh, Sonic yeah. on it. Awesome. I I never like played it, but like someone yeah. else did. And I remember one kid saying to them, um, I can't remember the lady's name, it was like mm. you know, responsible for the group, but it was like she says you have to stay on there and complete every level before you can get off. Oh <laughs> wow. Just, I'm like I look back at that now. I don't. I've not thought about this for like eons. But I think back to it now, and I'm like, you know, that kid was totally lying. Like, there's no way they'd say that. There's no way they'd be like, no, nope, no, 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 no. You've made a commitment. You have to stay on there all day until it's completed. You know, that wow. kid out and out capped. That and who knows, mad. maybe that Nonsense girl's still there trying to beat the game to this very day. This may be the first and the only time you ever see Hot Wings being played in 4K. <laughs> um, and a good reason? Or... No, there's no good reason for it at all, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, so this is the... Um... Other than to just be uh, ostentatious. Uh, also, this is um, the room where um, first was like me and my dad used to go into this uh, area, and, we, and and it's definitely and he used to say, "Not that bad." This is the most ostentatious thing ever. Now, if you look up, you can fall down there, but you can never get back up. And I used to remember this bathtub and everything so well. It really brings me back to my childhood. Dream key. And it's definitely and he used to say, "I wonder if you can get up there." You can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get this last wink that's the end of the story uh insert uh official <laughs> clip here we're not actually gonna do that by the way we're not we're... no just just to, i i thought i'd save you an editing job by the way uh lucas if you complete this second yeah. world before i complete the first i'll just leave it after i'll just complete the first world yeah. Although, if you, if you do go to the end of the video, you will see a clip of Dancer Fanta twerking. Mm. <laughs> oh. It will only show up if you watch the full race. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, that's the only way. Oh, yeah, that guy can fucking shoot under the water. Piece of oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Level finished. Nice. They're very brutal, like, and they take so many hits when on the harder difficulties. It's like uh, some of those enemies can like take half your health on hard mode. Ridiculous. I I don't like when games like have that that uh, they think difficulty is all about um, making enemies hit harder, and that's it. Mm. I'll I'll risk it for now. Like I did like do a bit of a skip there, so. Could be detrimental, but I wanted to show it off anyway. Have we got to get all the pieces for this? Uh, I guess. Uh, what have. do you mean pieces? For the the coloured the coloured ring, you know, at, at the end of the level. Yes. Oh right, I missed it from the haunted house. Then I guess. Now you can see why this game is so difficult for a kid. Yep. <laughs> so I've got to get that final shard. Yeah, yeah you won't be shard. able to hear anything, thankfully, because the microphone's oh. got isolation on it. But and uh, it looks like Lucas has collected the full clock. Oh, yeah, for the second world. Yep. Oh, nice. So all you've got to do is get to the end of the world, then. I just right, complete so this world or do his boss, whatever it is. I'm not gonna lie. I thought you were gonna say earlier, Lucas, that the drowning ship level was meant to be based off Titanic or whatever. <laughs> I'm glad that you didn't ah, and that it wasn't because I'm thinking what kid is dreaming about swimming around swimming through the ruins of the Titanic like Would you be surprised to hear Gex 2 had a level based on the Titanic <laughs> it was on um, the N64 version only though because it came out is literally it, is it the yeah. James Cameron Titanic uh, I think it's I definitely think that's what it's meant to be yeah there we go. I've got it. At least it is, at least it's not a dog rapping about the Titanic. <laughs> All dream keys collected. Now defeat. Oh, oh, here we go. As my um friend Chris uh, points out as well, there were still like living survivors of that disaster when that film came out. So 
Jeez, you know, know, nice one, guys. You came up with that. <laughs> nice one. I'll probably just defeat Fred Bear. I can explore some of the next world while you play on while yeah. Lucas finishes it. Yeah, yeah, like hold fire until Lucas finishes. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not. I'm not finished yet. But again, like I appreciate like you racing me in this game, Marcus, because uh, I, feel, I feel like it would be a hard sell for some people. Yeah. And also, I mean, like, not only that, that, but like the willingness to learn a new game as well. Because I remember you, Marcus, saying that that's actually been a new goal of yours for a while. Oh, yeah, sure. What, play new games? Yeah. Yeah, like picking up some new games and learning yes. them. Yes, I've enjoyed tonight, actually, because of that. Yeah. Yeah, if I just need to. I, hardest, I just. Some I just, of the hardest games on PS One. <laughs> I, I just. I just need to be like with somebody when I do it. That's what it is. Yeah, I get. You that. just need a bit of a push. Yeah. Yeah, not a push, but just. Like I, I'm the same, to be honest. I can't just play yeah. a new game with nobody there. Yeah, I'm the same, to be honest. That's fair. There's a lot of um, backtracking that happens though in the levels. Yeah, I've noticed. Here, for example, yeah. Okay, time for the boss. Okay. But there's and I um, think that unless Marcus pulls off a miracle, I think it yeah, might Marcus be GG. This. It could possibly be GG. It would have been GG for the, the, the race of the Bikesi <laughs> earlier on today, but unfortunately, uh, circumstances to do with um, my video being frozen uh, forced it me to feel like, no, nobody would enjoy watching that video, so I'm, I'll definitely have to rematch him. It's actually happened, something similar happened in um, the Spiral Spearman's Cup, but the thing was, like, that wasn't that serious, the reason for rescheduling. This one, I feel like, actually, is justified completely. Um, you know, audio, like, as Fisher said, like, audio not being the best, like, eight we can handle. Because you can watching. record parts commentary and whatever. But watching, like, a race, like, you know, I, I thought about maybe, like, trying to recreate it, you know, but, like, I, I didn't mm. think that would have the same effect. Yeah. Hey, I beat yeah, him no, it'll, it'll be next to him. Possible to recreate it, to be honest. Yeah, especially with the certain parts of the commentary. It's like, why is this not happening <laughs> in the commentary? I suppose. I mean, Adam does work with AI, doesn't he? Mm. Yeah. You could just get him to write an AI program to recreate your run, and it will like take samples of the sound audio, call them mm. whatever, and like reactions to recreate a frame perfect, you know reenactment of what you did yeah the fucking um like cousin in this boss as you can see is pretty awkward at times because uh as you can see like he's are got they all just crab. spiders or oh well this it's one's a, a crab um spiders yeah. and then i think like the the one in the space world like that was a ufo of course oh yeah um yeah. uh the one in um, like the, the one in the prehistoric world so it is kind of based on animals, you're right, yeah. Um, because it's like a horse. Uh, no, no, not a horse, sorry. Um, a dinosaur he's riding in that one. And then in the castle world, he's like riding a... That's it, GG. Uh, oh, okay. Let's have a look where to go next, then. Aha. Bye, Fred Bill. Down the <laughs> toilet. Well, that's Lucas winning... winning. Nice. Won the race. Well, congratulations. Lucas well, won the race. Woohoo. I've just gone into this world, so I just... Uh, I somehow uh, fudged that one up. And yeah. That's some good uh, animation for 1999. So, that is Lucas is approximately two times as quick. According to my math, then. If I've done one world, he's done two. Yeah, so pretty fun game nice to play. One. Yeah. Nice. Um, Lucas, do you time. have any closing remarks? 
yeah, another game I'm not proud to be good at. But you know what? I won. So thanks for watching, hey. everybody. <laughs> and um, square to charge. Over square and out. Square to charge. Square to charge. Square also, to charge. <laughs>